ahora de esta entrevista vamos a otra que hicimos aquí en Miami también, que es un auto que no tiene ninguna de esta tecnología, pero tiene tecnología de Fórmula 1, un McLaren especial aquí en The Collection en Miami. Hello, Nicolás, how are you here at the collection? And uh, we're in a, it looks like we're in a spaceship, but where are we? This is a pretty special car. Huh? It's a very special car. We are sitting in the brand new McLaren MP412C GT Can Am edition. Yeah, and this is a special car that uh, not many people have seen here in the States. It's actually the first time it's being shown at a dealership. Uh, we were very fortunate to get it. Um, a couple weeks ago, uh, we got a call from McLaren saying that the car was passing through Miami on its way to its headquarters in New York, and um, we took the opportunity to show it to some of our customers. And as I understand, this car uh, is not street legal, it's not even competition legal, <laughs> that is, what I heard. That is correct. Uh, this, is, um, this is not a street legal car, this is a track-only variant of the 12C Coupe. And um, it's, it's based on the GT3 race car that's currently racing in Europe, except that This is um, not sanctioned, so it doesn't have any type of restrictions. So basically, a McLaren there at the factory, they said, okay, to the engineers, go and like, put whatever you want to do with this car, look, make it as, as fast, as light, as whatever you want to do, put whatever you want, and they, they came up with this. That is absolutely correct. This is a no um, compromise version of their race car. That's pretty amazing. And um, obviously, being uh, the collection, one of the top sellers of McLaren around the world, I understand, right? That's, That's why right. I gave you the, the, the opportunity to come to here? That is absolutely correct. Uh, we, uh, we've been very successful with the McLaren product and um, we're very uh, privileged to, to be able to carry the product. Yeah, you did a, like a, an event for your customers, like I think it was last year around November or something like that at the Homestead uh, Speedway, right? That's correct. Uh, last November we had a McLaren Customer Appreciation Day and we invited all of our uh, current McLaren customers out to the racetrack, uh, complimentary of course, so they could see what the, what the car can do. Yeah, and um, so um, McLaren, going back to this car, uh, which is like, I, I mean, you said how much is the horsepower of this? This is uh, 630 horsepower. Yeah. It's, um, it's the same engine block that you would find in the, in the street legal version, um, up 10 horsepower. And um, it, it comes in at about 2,800 pounds, so about 300 pounds less than the, than the road version and um, unbelievably fast. Yeah, uh, yeah, you can see that they have taken weight from wherever they, they can. I mean, there's a lot of carbon fiber here. A lot of uh, very light materials and pretty much not the luxury that is in the other car, but okay. more driven to performance. Absolutely. I mean, even the roll cage and uh, the race seats that we're sitting in, everything is uh, race variant. So maybe this is closer where they can get into the Formula One car, right? Like, I guess they mix a lot of that technology into this car? Uh, everything. If you take a look at the steering wheel, which is hard to, hard for them to see, but um, you have uh, essentially a Formula One based uh, st uh, steering wheel with all of your traction control settings, with your lights, with everything on, on this little butterfly steering wheel, which is pretty amazing. And, um, you know, everything from the, 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 the company itself has always based, been based on their Formula One team. And um, so even the, the road version that you, that you can buy is, is, has a lot of Formula One technology involved. Yeah. So this is even to another level. Yeah, and I've seen a lot of people coming through it. Obviously, it's amazing. And probably this is radio, how well, we're doing video too, but uh, the people who are listening on the radio, this is an orange, color car, very attractive, and people are loving it here. Huh? That's correct. So the, the color of the car is called McLaren Orange, and um, the Can-Am uh, edition name comes from Bruce McLaren racing. He used to race in the 60s and 70s no, okay. the Can-Am in the Can-Am racing series, and his color was always orange. So this is a tribute to him and his cars. And do they have uh, this kind of color on the regular cars? Absolutely. You can, get, you can order the, a regular street car with this color. And then uh, they have already, I think, already started the, the sale of the Spider, right? That's correct. Uh, we started receiving the, the hardtop convertible version of the 12C in the beginning of this year. And um, it's also a, a very, very attractive product because it gives you both the comfort of, uh, of a hardtop coupe um, as far as noise and, and, and coverage and the way it looks particularly. Um, but at the same time, you have the ability to, to lower the roof and, and have you know, the, yeah. the sky. and and um and the noise of the engine and everything is fantastic yeah and perfect for miami and uh the collection oh definitely <laughs> perfect convertible miami. city absolutely so i'm sure you're gonna keep doing really well for mclaren here at the collection thank you very much nicolas we're gonna keep enjoying uh, looking at the cars and the place which is like a toy store for grown-ups right yeah absolutely <laughs> uh, you're always welcome to join us and um invite all, all of our friends that are watching Great. this as well so. thank you very much
Por ahí tuvimos a Nicolás Gamarra, un especialista eh, de este dealership de, de Collection aquí en Miami, que es yo creo que uno de los eh, concesionarios de autos más... Eh, que tienen más eh, autos de lujo, tienen eh, marcas como la Ferrari, tienen Maserati, tienen Jaguar, McLaren, Audi, Porsche y realmente es un sitio que ni siquiera parece un concesionario regular, está en una zona, en un área de acá de Miami para los que no conocen que es eh, Coral Gables, una zona bastante antigua, lujosa para los términos de Miami obviamente y en el segundo piso de un edificio de ahí como de cinco eh, tienen los talleres que también tuvimos la oportunidad de, de visitar. Eh, les recomiendo que vayan a, a la página, a mi página, en mi canal de YouTube, en eh, Autos Javier Mota, y van a ver ahí los videos de este auto, de la de McLaren, y también de esa visita exclusiva que tuvimos al taller de la Ferrari. No se vayan, que cuando regresemos vamos a hablar de autos eléctricos y autos diésel acá en Auto 060. Yo soy Javier Mota.